Can you believe we're already at round six of our journey down the Farming Simulator 25 fact sheet rabbit hole? Information has been coming out on a regular basis as of late, and this week we continue the march to the release of Farm Sim 25 on November 12th. Just five more weeks of fact sheets. There are still a ton of machines and vehicles yet to be revealed. Be sure to check the website as well each week as more brands are added to the listing and more entries within each brand. There could be some real gems to show up in those listings that don't make their way to the official fact sheets. Leading the pack today is the John Deere 9RX, a track giant tipping the scales at 25 and a half tons. Engine configuration starting at 539 horsepower, ranging up to nearly 700 horsepower, means that when the work needs doing, well, you can hopefully count on the 9RX to get the job done. With a starting price of $545,500, a whole lot of jobs need to be done to earn its keep, that's for sure. Typically, track vehicles are not known for their high road speed, and that continues with the 9RX having a top road speed of 24 miles per hour. While the 9RX might lose the race to the field, once it has gotten there, it will make quick work of the job with the aid of the Bennar Swift Disc XE 1400 Mega Disc Hero. Wow, that was one heck of a product name. At 18.4 meters wide and 21 tons, the disc hero will surely make an impact on your cultivation. With 580 horsepower requirement, it will need all of the big tractor like the 9RX or equivalent to rip through the field at 11 miles per hour. All in, farmers will need to shell out at least $740,000 for this combination shoot here because the Bednar costs $194,500 itself. Last week, we learned more about the John Deere C441R round baler. Today, we'll learn about a telehandler that might be used to collect the bales that were made by the C441R. We have the MLT841 145 PS Plus telehandler from Manitou. Stack bales or scoop up the stuff in style for $139,000. Having a weight of 9.2 tons, this mid sized machine will be a good all around workhorse for the farm. Speaking of horses, the Manitou has the power of 141 ponies and will make use of a combo manual and power shift transmission. We didn't get a fact sheet for the EDP 540E Oxbow P Harvester the week we had the P blog post, but we have one today. If you saw my video on peas, well, you'll recall that I put up some specs of the real life machine. Let's compare those to the fact sheet. First, for the most part, they aligned with the real life world specs. 394 horsepower, check. 3,700 liters of capacity, check. 920 liters of fuel, well, on the real unit versus 950 liters of fuel on the in game model. Close enough. Hydrostatic four wheel drive versus variable CVT. They're one and the same, right? 24,240 kilogram empty weight on the spec sheet versus 23.3 tons on the fact sheet. Our first decent discrepancy possible, or at least I think it is. Being an American, I'm used to one ton being 2,000 pounds, but I'm fairly sure in the metric world, one ton is 1,000 kilograms. If so, then we're about one ton short versus the real life spec. Now there's another variance in working speed. Both agree on the top road speed of 25 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour, but when it comes to working in the fields, players get a speed boost being able to harvest at 10 kilometers per hour or 6 miles per hour versus the rated 7 kilometers per hour in the real life spec. We're also within 0.1 meters of the working width, but something that is new is the cost. Officially confirmed that getting into peas, spinach, or green beans will cost you dearly when it comes to the harvesting equipment with the EPD 540E ringing the cash register at $571,000. Our fourth and final fact sheet of the day is the Silo King Trailline 4.0 System 1000 Plus Forage Mixer. What is it with product names today? 
Before we dive into the mixer itself, I want to touch on the confirmation that the TMR mix itself seems to be unchanged. As looking at the fill types, we have straw, hay, mineral feed, and silage all listed. The other two icons, which are extremely similar, also confirms that Giants is still making it somewhat difficult to distinguish between properly mixed TMR and its incomplete mix, Forage, by having the icons look so similar. Back to the mixer wagon. The System 1000 Plus is a large mixing wagon, as it has three axles and will hold between 35,000 and 45,000 liters worth of product. With an empty weight of 13.7 tons and holding up to 45,000 liters of product, it's no surprise you're going to need a nice mid-sized tractor with at least 240 horsepower to operate the mixer. Large-scale dairy operations shouldn't think twice about spending the $80,000 price tag. So, what do you think of today's roundup of fact sheets? To be honest, I was a little disappointed myself. I was kind of hoping for at least one new brand reveal or some more Asian branded items given the Rice blog post yesterday and continuing the theme from the map reveal last week. But alas, not every at bat can be a home run. In keeping with the theme from yesterday's Rice video, I really don't feel like pushing the pre-order too much this week. After all, it's been at least five straight weeks talking about it, and if you want to pre-order, then cool, use one of my links down in the description below if you're so inclined. If not, that's cool, you be you. What I do want to ask is if you're willing and able to help me out by subscribing to the channel. I had a goal when Giants announced Farming Simulator 25 of reaching 50,000 subs before its release. This week, the channel is about 650 subs short. A little over five weeks away and to be honest i'm getting a little nervous about being able to hit that goal so if you're not already subscribed why not do so and if you're still watching this video after all and speaking of still watching this video did you know that hundred percent of the viewers who are still watching this video at this point are statistically 100 percent satisfied with their viewing experience up to this point as such, why not let YouTube know that others with similar viewing habits will also enjoy watching this video by clicking that thumbs up button. Until next week, happy farming.